遠慮はしない引き崩す我こそ古代史の荒がってみろどうしてもやる元気してみろ I'll fight I will fight until the very end. than that. Mercy.
Well done. We stand together victorious. King Jaden. Hey, take a look at that cannon. The cannon? The one just in front of the fortress. I've never seen one of that design before. Ah, that must be the new model they say is the pride and joy of Styrie. A new model? Rundal is unchallenged in the realm of guns and their application. However, it's a slightly different story when it comes to artillery. Wizette introduced the concepts of magic into their cannons to drastically extend their range. They applied magic to their cannons? It seems they're using the same magical amplification techniques that they employed with the former crux of their defense, the Ice Golem. That cannon will be the key to Rundal attaining even greater power. Lucia, you still around? Here, your highness. Our cannon will be arriving shortly. And as much fun as it would be to have an all-out exchange of roaring artillery with them, doing so would end up destroying that cannon of theirs. Then the objective is to capture it instead? Can you do it? I will take Calorum and attack from the western slope. A little skirmish action away from the main force, huh? All right, do it. And take as much ammunition as you need. Yes, your highness. We will draw their attention while Calorum approaches the cannon by the fortress. However, we'd best be prepared for Calorum to also be targeted. Understood, Your Highness. Should it come to that, we shall then focus on maintaining their attention instead. Reassuring as always. We'll still go all out to make sure that doesn't happen, though. Kalorum shall depart at once. I'm looking forward to my new cannon. I hope you don't plan on letting Lucia steal the show. I would not dream of it.
の結果だ。What do we have here? That jaded is up to something dubious. Something dubious, you say? I just greeted them with an iron gift from the heavens, did I not? You did, yes. From the looks of it, they are yet to prepare cannons of their own. Which would mean the standard course of action at this point would be to move out of firing range. An understandable tactic. One which they adopted for a brief moment, but did they commit to it? No. Quite the opposite, in fact. And what do you believe to be their reason for this? A fine question. I would wager they mean to draw our attention. So, you mean to say they have an ulterior objective? Who knows? The finer points of their scheme are beyond me. My natural instincts simply tell me there is something afoot. But in any case, should they advance foolishly and devoid of strategy... <laughs> It shall be an easy task to dispose of them. I see. Jaden plans a master stroke. <laughs> it shall be quite interesting to see what he has in store for us.
I hear that Lucia has taken Calorum to engage in skirmish tactics. You certainly found out quickly. But if the enemy detects their presence, this strategy will end in failure. To ensure that does not happen, we need to draw the enemy's attention and maintain it. And you want me to leave that task to you? I am surpassed by none when it comes to disrupting the enemy. I'm not sure that's going to work. Why not? Don't get me wrong. I have a different task in mind for you. For me, you say? What manner of task, exactly? You are to go to Rundal Castle. There, you will restock on munitions and give Sonatists the order to deploy. <laughs> what? Not enough glory in it for you? The First Division Sonatus has long been disbanded. And besides... You think this to be a task that anyone could handle? <laughs> We've gone at it with the Sanctum on plenty of occasions, but never has Sodaly shown his face on the battlefield. That is true. Sodaly knows exactly what he's doing. And there's no way he would try and take me on without a plan, which means... You believe he plots something? He may be trying to keep our eyes fixated on the battle in front of us. Do you think that even as we speak, his forces move to strike at Rundall Castle? No. Elstra and Kreis are in charge of security. Even if they do scheme something, Right, but the problem is, I'm yet to receive a single report from the castle. Uh? Elshra is not the type to neglect her reports, even if you buried her in every responsibility the kingdom has to offer. That's true. Elia is in the castle at the moment as well. You're the only one who I can ask this of. Will you do this for me? As you wish, Your Highness. I will take to this task with pleasure. First, see Elstra and resupply in munitions. Then, you are to make sure Alaya is safe and sound. Finally... The deployment of Sonatus. That's right. I doubt it sits well with you, but I made a promise. That when the time comes for our showdown with Sodaly, I would call upon the strength of an old friend. I understand. I shall see this done. I'm counting on you, Alon. I'll fight to the end. My gratitude. I will fight until the very end. Let me help you, friends. Let us end this. I think not.
行けるかネットボを送ろう胃の気持いの時間だ<笑>遠慮はしない刻む我こそ古代史の地を絶望を送ろうどうしてもやる頑張って行こう I'll fight to the end of your mercy I will fight until the very end You will fall
Integrating, wave print, spell link, receiving. Lady Melnia? Burial assignment, reporting from Lowland. Suddenly, establish contact. Jaden's will be. Battles end. This again. With whom does Lady Melnia converse? <gasps> you two are Melnia and Renel. Unmistakably. Not so long ago, you were sided with Ovis. What of it? We seek Jaden's head and nothing else. And as such, Sodaly saw merit in Lady Melnia's abilities, and had her play an instrumental part in the fall of Fenis and Horn. We have heard nothing of this. You think your masters would waste their time informing grunts like you of such matters? Watch your tongue! Oh, the truth makes you burn with anger, does it? You said that you are not our foes. Just so. In that case... Let us see if you are worthy of being our allies. You wish to put us to the test. You should have kept your mouth shut. <laughs> My words exactly. Expect no quarter. A display in the difference of our power will remind you lowly wretches of your place.
遠慮はしない刻む我こそ古代史の血を引き滅びの始まりだどうしてもやる頑張って行こう I'll fight to the end of the end I will fight until the very end You will fall
遠慮はしない刻む I'll fight to the end of the mercy I will fight until the very end of the force 我こそ古代史の血を引き抜がってみろどうしてもやる頑張って行こう Damn those monks. They've placed lookouts in every possible location. Indeed, that subtly's a cautious one. 
Nonetheless, we need to get through here to make it to the cannon. What should we do? Ah, <sighs> there is not for it. Our look hasn't completely abandoned us. They only carry swords. We can take them down with a wave of well-placed shots. Very well. Let's do this! Get them! Commander Lucia! Your speed and accuracy were incredible. Normally, I would prefer to take my time and give them some special attention. But we can waste no more time in silencing that cannon. Yes, my lady. Poor fools. They have no idea what they just missed out on. The fate of this battle lies in the hands of our skirmish unit. We can expect to encounter more monks deployed ahead. Be merciless, and let none escape. Our numbers are few. And should the enemy learn of our attack, we may very well find ourselves overwhelmed by their main force. So listen well. The slightest of mistakes could easily place King Jaden in danger. We will be vigilant, my lady. Then steal yourselves for battle. Endio I will fight until the very end. It is here. You're mine! 
Well done. We stand together victorious. King Oberon. <clears throat> they must have caught the scent of blood. You shall not so much as breathe upon King Oberon! しない。無理をするな。マイグラティチュード。我こそ古代史の滅びの始まりだ。どうしてもやる頑張って。頑張る。I'll
how pathetic. King Oberon. The King of Hindler, said to be the very blood of the dragon, at the mercy of a woman's whims. You are being unfair on yourself. I remember with vivid clarity the day I first met Luciel. Oh. It was during the years we spent reclaiming our lands after escaping domination under Likaros. I decided to clear my mind by enjoying some falconry near the border of Ovis. The hare I hunted fled into a forest. My pursuit of it is what led me to her. To Lady Luciel. That is right. Such a warm memory. The King of Hindler and the Princess of Ovis. Perhaps because we knew not of each other's standing, we quickly found comfort in our conversation. It was clear from the beginning that she was fond of me. Likaros took everything from me. My imprisonment was a life of fear and humiliation. Yet, Luciel soothed the pain in my tortured heart, and soon I was all but infatuated. <clears throat> With each meeting, Luciel showed me a different side of her, almost as if to always keep me in a state of wonder. At times, she would make me laugh. At others, she would speak to my deepest emotions, or simply intoxicate me with her very presence. Once the time between our meetings no longer served to stir our hearts, I asked for her hand in marriage. And that is when she revealed the truth. That I had in fact been rendezvousing with two Luciels. Luciel, the eldest, and Shalza, the second sister. But in actuality, there was also a third sister, Rashina. Thank you.